update to the Google Chrome web browser, then you've likely seen the new grid interface for tabs. Not only that, but you've also likely seen the new grouping feature that comes with these tabs. So today's tutorial, I want to show you how to keep the grid interface with the latest Google Chrome update, but while disabling the grouping feature that keeps similar tabs together. So to begin, we're going to open up a new tab. We're going to go into the web address. We're simply going to type in Chrome and then a colon followed by two forward slashes and then flags. That's going to take us to the hidden experimental user interface for Chrome. And from here, we're going to want to search for two different things here. First, we're going to, and we're going to search in this top box right here, we're going to search for tab group. This allows users to create groups to better organize their tabs on the phone. So the tab groups option, we're going to set that to disabled. But not only that, we're also going to set the tab grid layout flag to enabled so that we're keeping this set on by default. Then all we got to do is press the blue relaunch button at the bottom right. Even though we use the blue relaunch button at the bottom right, I needed to force close Chrome by swiping it up like that and then opening it again in order to actually have these changes take effect. That may or may not be required for you, but something to be aware of. And once we have those two flags set the way they are, now whenever we say want to open up a link in a new tab, it's not opening up in a new tab group because the new the tab groups are currently disabled. So that is how to keep Chrome's new grid user interface while disabling the sometimes annoying tab group feature.